Hello, it is Thursday, June 8th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday puzzle today, and it looks like it is uh, embracing its Thursdayness because we have this note here that has something complicated about what's going on with the puzzle theme-wise. We'll find out what that is soon enough, I suppose. But for now, this uh, seemingly complex edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, Bradley Pirtle, as, and as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign. They are among the people who keep this channel going. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to them. Thank you to you if you're a patron. Um, thank you to everybody who has been one. Uh, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you can head over to, to uh, patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. And there you can find all of the bonus videos that have gone up. And as a benefactor, of course, you also get the daily solve. Let's check the crosses mug. So again, thank you to everybody who uh, has been a patron or supporter of this channel. And uh, you can also, you can be a supporter of the channel simply by subscribing to it on YouTube. Why not consider doing that if you've not done so or telling a friend? Uh, and you can finally also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. It's a nice, friendly chat community, and it's a very pleasant place. All right, so let's get on to this strange puzzle with its strange instruction. Um, let's... Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I haven't actually fully read it myself, but we'll we'll do that. We'll do that now. Um, this is a crossword by Philip Kosky. It was edited as always by Will Shorts. Oh, I think this is the second puzzle by Philip Kosky, second or third, I think second. Um, and there's a note, so let's read it. When this puzzle is done, reinterpret each set of shaded squares. We can see one group of four shaded cells in the puzzle done. Oh, I guess you can't see my cursor. Uh, well, in any case, underneath that sort of L shape, you can see through the, the veil. Uh, reinterpret each set of shaded squares as three words, one, two, one. So I assume that means, uh, at least in cryptic cro crossword solving, this would indicate um, a, oops, sorry, a one-letter word, a two-letter word, and then a one-letter word. So um, I am I. That's not really a great word. <laughs> great phrase. I wonder what these are going to be. There can't be very many phrases that that fit that. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, then apply the results to 20, 22, 54, and 56 across to see what 34 across was once tasked to do. All right. Now I'm reading this now because um, I made a version of this page that removed the note so that it would fit on the screen because otherwise it, otherwise the grid was, was getting cut off. So um, I might have to flip back to that, but I'll, I'll try and remember it. We'll see. In any case, Let's start solving this puzzle by Philip Kosky, edited as always by Will Shorts. All right, sea urchin in Japanese cuisine. Is that uni drains? Un, yeah, that would work with this un something. Uh, let's try it. Like over 40% of all Americans aged 18 to 24. Mm, not sure. Prince, e.g. And it's all good. No, no problem. No probs. The it's all good, the kind of abbreviated it's, contracted it's makes me assume this is going to have also some kind of contraction or casual speech. Let's keep looking around. Agent Mulder's, obs Agent Mulder's obsession in brief. So this is referring to um, the X-Files, the uh, sort of science fiction show. And so Agent Mulder is obsessed with ETs, extraterrestrials. That's probably the answer anyway. Uh, drains un... I don't know. It's all good. Oh, not a... I don't know. Prince E.G. Yeah, I'm just not seeing these. I'll have to move on. Noted Swede of the Silver Screen. Um... Oh boy, I feel like I know, I'm certain I know who this is, but I can't think. That's so frustrating. Is it Greta Garbo? She was Swedish, surely. I think that's right. Supermodel Bunchen. Oh. Bunchen. Um, gazelle? 
Gazelle That sounds right to me. Okay, so we have Garbo and Gazelle. I guess it could be Greta. I don't think it is. I think it's probably Garbo. Um, that's interesting that we have two names crossing. Uh, crossing swords. At odds, maybe? You're at odds with somebody, you're crossing swords with them? That could be. I mean, I, yeah. Oh, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference, is um, famously a line from uh, poetry of Robert Frost. And turn in Yahtzee, e.g., is a roll, a roll of the dice. Poor winner's shout is... Boo me? I don't think that's right. Notes to self. So, oh, solos. They're notes you would sing just yourself because they're solo. You don't have accompaniment. Licenses say, okay, as you license something, you okay it. You say it's fine. Okay. Um, boo earns. Boo me. Boo. Why can I not see what this is? With veneration, something Lee. Poor, oh, sorry, poor winner's shout. Sorry, for some reason, I don't know what I read aloud. I probably read it correctly aloud, but in my head, I was thinking poor loser. So I was trying to think, what would someone say? Oh, sorry, okay. Anyway, booyah, I guess, is what this is. So it's, it's an exuberant cry. With veneration, uh, sacredly or... Um, Um, I feel like I'm just missing lots of obvious things today. Support, up, uphold. Um, maybe this isn't ETs, Agent Mulder's obsession. Drains, un... Eh, this doesn't, this doesn't look right. Uncaps. Support. It's due in court. It's due, due process. Okay, so unstop, drain, as in you take out a stopper, unstop. Does that work? Agent Mulder's obsession in brief. I don't know. Ah, support as I expected. Oh, right. So sorry, what were we doing with these? We were... Interpreting them as one, two, one. So I, two, O. Is that what it said? Three words. One, two, one. I, two, O. I don't quite understand it. Sorry. Um, okay. With the veneration. I need to pick up the pace here, don't I? Nook for a cardinal. Oh, is it an apse? <laughs> the official um, architectural... The, the official sort of <laughs> um, church-related architectural element of the New York Times crossword. In the slightest, if something doesn't happen in the slightest, it doesn't happen at all. Exercise often described as meditation in motion. Is it Tai Chi? It sounds like it would be to me. Prefix with biology. Paleobiology, maybe? And they're on your side. Allies are on your side. Abandon as a conversation topic. Let die. You could simply let a topic die. Duds are losers, I suppose. And Amazon deposits are silt, so Amazon the river. Um, and analysis paralysis is to finally make a choice to decide. And like some jobs and jokes are... Um, like some jobs and jokes... Gives props, praises somebody. Sight in the final scene of Cleopatra, oh, an asp, presumably, who bites her. Uh, NBA team with the most Hall of Famers, familiarly. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I sat there looking at that, looking at that as though I would think of it. Um, like some jobs and jokes. Oh, dirty jobs, dirty jokes. There we go. And a bad temper could be a something. Okay, Woodstock artist, a singer. Um, singers performed at Woodstock. Um, NBA team, okay, right, I don't know. Uh, English site 
of World War II code breaking, Bletchley Park. Oh, maybe this isn't Singer. Uh, that is where World War II code breaking took place in the UK. So where, so that is presumed, I mean, I assume that means, I, I mean, I, this could be presumptuous, but I feel as though that's relevant to the theme, code breaking. Yeah, this A is E. Oh, is that a code? I to O. So we get it. Oh, right. Okay. We're going to turn I to O, A into E. Right. Okay, good. So this was sort of the key. Bletchley Park. So sorry, what was the apply the result to 20, 22, 54, and 56 across. Wow, okay. Um oh it's it's the ones with the circles. Okay, good. That's easy to remember. And so I to oh decode. We turn I into O here and we get decode. Right, okay. So we'll just have to we'll have to do that throughout. Is it going to be Alan Turing, maybe, or something? What 34 across was once tasked to do. Oh, Bletchley Park in general. Okay. Bletchley Park was charged with decoding the, was it the, what, the Enigma code? Okay. So Woodstock artist, rapid transit options. Oh, L's as in elevated railways. There we go. And we T. Okay. I don't know that. Bad temper. Why can I not see what that is? Device patented in 1970 as an XY position indicator for a display system. Um, I don't know. That's interesting, though. Enough said, question mark. TMI? Too much information? That's enough said, question mark. I think the question mark is just... It's alluding to the fact that enough said is a phrase on its own, but, and, and we can infer that's not how we're interpreting this clue because of all of the extra punctuation, but I think the question mark is just giving us an additional clue that this doesn't mean enough said, it means enough when said, TMI, too much information. I think that's the, I mean, the answer might be wrong, but I think the interpretation of the clue is correct. <clears throat> okay, what else? Swiss drug giant, uh, Roche, I think? I think it's a Swiss drug giant. Christmas tree lighting reaction. Ooh, maybe. Uh, like 40%. Oh, in school? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, sure. I guess, yeah, sure. People are in university. Okay, that's fair. That makes sense. 40% uh, of all Americans aged 18 to 24. Yeah, okay. That, that, that's fine. Oh, with Federation is sacredly. I think I said that, but I didn't think it was, it just didn't feel as, I don't know, common a word. Okay, so A is E. So, oh, secretly. Okay, right. So one of them will be T is or two or something like that. Um, or sorry, D to T. Um, right, okay. Drains is un... Why? How do I still not see what this is? Oh, something's up? Oh, maybe uni is wrong after all of that. I bet it is. Drains. Oh, support is uphold. Saul good. Not a prob. Agent Mulder's obsession is ET. Oh, so what is this? Drains. Oh, uses up. Pri oh, right. I just put that in there. Why did I put that in there? Prince. What, what was that N for? Oh, because I thought this started with un. But it doesn't. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible mistake. I'm very sorry about that. Uses up. Apologies if you've been yelling at me through the screen about that for 11 minutes or how long it's been since it's been in there. I'm sorry. Anyway, uses up, drains. There we go. Uni was the sea urchin. Prince is a son by definition, or I mean, at least in many cases, the son of a king uh, or queen. And then um, Woodstock artist... Oh, maybe it's a specific artist that didn't occur to me, actually, for some reason. Uh, but I don't know. This goes between chapter and verse. Chapter in between chapter and verse. Um, canto? Is that? 
Cat is a bit more specialized. Let's see, device, I don't know if that's right. Scale abbreviation. And Woodstock art. Okay, I just, I, I keep getting stuck in this puzzle, don't I? Let's keep looking around. What's in the middle of Nashville? Um, a V, the letter V. The question mark makes me think maybe that's what's going on. It's a bit punny. So the, the letter V is literally the middle of the word Nashville in terms of letter count. Um, Walt City of Spain. Oh, a, a Vila, I think. I oh, hope I'm not misremembering that. Rogue and highly observant. Keen-eyed. But I'm not being often today. Word of favor. I is in you're in favor as opposed to nay. Second smallest of 50. Second smallest of 50 states? Maybe? Delaware? Rogue. Renegade. There we go. Ones with issues to work on for short. Editors work on issues of newspapers or magazines. Things that Jackson Pollock famously eschewed. I don't know. I mean, Jackson Pollock famously a splatter artist, I think. Is that what that's called? I think that's called splatter art um, or spatter art, something like that. Um, I don't know. What did he famously eschew? Famously. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Second small certificate. It does look like Eld. Oh, easels, maybe. Oh, right. Okay. I think we had easel or something related to it in the crossword yesterday or the day before. U.S. Capitol in Lewis and Clark County. Is it Helena? Is it Helena, Montana? <clears throat> and tinkered with is messed with, maybe? Tinkered around or something, messed with it. Convention winner could be the nominee. So... In a U.S. political convention, you could nominate a presidential candidate, for instance. Words from a doubter. Oh. Mm, words from a doubter. Oh, I mean, the obvious thing is, oh, I don't know, but that obviously doesn't fit. What about this? Rubs the right way. Massages somebody. So we have A to E, so that's messages. So what do we have here? We have uh, secretly decode something messages, right? Okay, oh. Enigma messages, maybe? I don't know what that would start as. I to O, A to E. Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's wrong. Okay, anyway. Um, what else can we do? Boil down. Scale abbreviation, something that Dr. Mom might tend to, an owie maybe? So Dr. Mom suggests that they're dealing with a child who might describe a wound as an owie. Spend time on a doodle, perhaps. Spend time on a doodle, perhaps. And lemme, I wanna, maybe you could say. Plants from which ropes are made. Um... I'm sure I'll know this as well. I feel I'm just missing all kinds of things I should get instantly today. Soybean product. Uh, Seitan? Yeah, that looks right. And has finally had it. If you finally had it, you... He has finally had it. He... Hmm. Shelter from a storm. Gospel singer Blank Cobbs Leonard. Oh, I'm just missing everything here. The Thin Man Pet. Ah, this I know. <laughs> this is a great film, The Thin Man. Really, really worth watching. Um, and anyway, they have a little terrier dog called Asta. Um, the the couple who's the subject of the, who's the sort of principal characters in the film. Meter reading guy. A gas man? Maybe this isn't Satan. Oh, German messages, right. Okay, sorry, that, that makes sense. Uh, secretly decode German messages. Okay, great. So we have E to... Sorry, we have A to E and S to R. 
Um, so this could be like S is R. No, that doesn't work. Um, anyway, uh, maybe it does. S. No, it's boiled down. Anyway, let's keep going. Spend time on a doodle, perhaps, is something that I still don't know. <laughs> Plants from which ropes are made. Uh, wards from a doubter. Oh, sure. Oh, it's sarcastic. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, sure. Oh, here's our R. So S goes to R. Squirrel away is store. S to R. Yeah, okay. There we go. And tiny bit is an atom, a very tiny bit of matter. An Arabian Nights Prince Ahmed. Prince Ahmed, maybe? Organization that lets you carry on. Or the TSA at the airport might check your bags and then allow you to take your carry-on luggage further past the checkpoint. So this does look like Ahmed, doesn't it? One of the Seven Sisters Colleges. Uh, Shakespeare's Titus Andronicus. Okay, well, that's straightforward. Oh, Smith. Smith. Okay, I don't think I know the Seven Sisters Colleges, but there we go. Okay, but that's one of them. Scale abbreviation is... KGs or LBs, maybe. This goes before chapter and verse. Oh, right. What did I say? This Oh, this is, well, it's not Canto. Um, again, this is probably something incredibly obvious. I don't know what it could be. Ounces, actually, as well. Here, grams. Uh, grams doesn't really have a two. You would, you'd abbreviate it. Well... What am I? Well, I'm just I'm just off my game. Woodstock artist, NBA team. Oh boy, I'm running out of things that are straightforward. Device patented in 1970 as an XY position indicator for a display system. Oh my goodness, what is that? I'm very curious about it. Bad temper. Oh, spleen. You could you could vent your spleen. Have sort of be in a bad mood. We have a be having a bit of a spleen. Um, oh, Celts, maybe the Celtics or Celtics, I think, as it said. Woodstock, so maybe that's it. Uh, Woodstock artist. Oh, it's not, it's nothing to do, sorry, it's nothing to do with the, um, it's nothing to do with the Woodstock festival. It's Woodstock, the character from Peanuts by Charles Schultz. It's a little, the little bird character who's Snoopy's friend. Okay. Wow, I was just on the rock track. I should have been thinking about other other possible contexts of Woodstock. That was silly. Oh, mouse. Was a mouse patented as an XY position indicator for a display system? Yes, okay, that makes sense. That is what a mouse is. It is. It allows you to indicate an XY position on a display system. Um, we're just so accustomed to using them that it didn't occur to me to sort of break it down in that way. But that's what a mouse is for a computer. All right. Oh, call... Ah, this goes... Ah... All of the misdirection got to me today, apparently. So this goes between chapter and verse. So if you're citing chapter and verse in a in in the Bible, you would have a colon in between the number referencing the chapter and the number referencing the verse. Ah, okay. Boil down, distill. D is T. Um, D is T. Oh right, yes, because secretly was up here. Um. Right, great. Okay, well, I think I was thinking there needed to be another combination of letters that there didn't need to be, and I don't know what remember what it was. I think I'm just <laughs> just completely, completely brain's not working today. All right, spend time on a doodle, dog. Oh, a doodle is in a labradoodle or something like that. Spend time, dog sit. He has finally had it. Snaps. Shelter from a storm is in gospel singer Tanya Cobbs Leonard. Oh, plant. Oh, sizals, because you could have a sizal rug, right? Maybe that's the answer. Shelter from a storm, an inlet. There we go. Sort of a little cove almost, and then soybean. Oh, tempe. So there we go. T e m p e h. Yes. That is another soybean product that didn't occur to me when I was looking at this before. So Tasha Cobbs lettered. There we go. And all right, finally. 
that was the Thursday puzzle. There we have it. So, uh, very good. So we, <laughs> the theme was decoded pretty early on because of this Bletchley Park thing and the fact that these didn't seem like they could really be words. Um, <clears throat> so, um, yes, we had Bletchley Park, the English site of World War II code breaking, and they were given the instruction to secretly decode German messages. And we decoded that much simpler code than what they were tasked to decode with our little rubric here. I to O, A is E, D is T, and S to R. And I suppose our twos are symmetrically disposed radially and our ises are symmetrically disposed radially. So that's just another nice little, um, uh, nice little uh, detail there. And, uh, yeah, and that's that's that. Uh, very nice. Oh, and also, I suppose, I guess this makes sense that this would be the case, but vowels are transposed to vowels and consonants are transposed to con consonants, which is what would make sense to maintain kind of words in English, but it's nice that, that it's all consistent in that respect. Um, very good. All right, well, that was that was great. I really liked the uh, that decoding element. That was very fun for a Thursday. Very appropriate to a Thursday puzzle, I think. Not not brutally difficult, but sort of interesting and novel enough, I think, to justify its Thursday inclusion, even though it wasn't the sort of most el elusive uh, theme that you'll ever see on a Thursday. So I think that, that worked really well. I really liked it. Hope you did as well. And... I also hope you like clues from yesterday's puzzle because that's what we're going to discuss right now. And the strangest thing that uh, numerous people referenced in the clues in yesterday's puzzle, uh, sorry, in the comments on yesterday's puzzle was about the Smurfs. I was completely wrong. There is no mama Smurf. So Spikel Thing says there's no mama Smurfs. There are only two female Smurfs who are called Smurfette and Sasset. And Scaredy Fish adds, yes, there was no mama Smurf. All of the Smurfs were male until Gargamel created Smurfette, which raises a lot of questions. It does, it does. I don't, I don't quite understand what that means. And Charlu adds, the Smurfs are Jewish. They celebrate Smurfica every year around December. That is a low effort pun, I have to say. Smurfica for Hanukkah. <laughs> it's just... Uh, yeah, I mean, they, yeah. I mean, fair enough, but they probably could have been something a bit better. A bit, a bit sort of tonally closer to the ear, but, but, you know, but, you know, it's fair enough. I guess that that's their holiday. And, uh, Nix Hicks points out there was indeed another duel in Hamilton. Alexander's son, Philip died defending his father's honor against George Eaker at age 19. This happened not far from the place where Alexander dueled Aaron Burr. And yes, of course, of course that's true. I completely forgot in, at the time, but yes, that is true. Thank you for reminding me. And Miss Charlesworth replies to say, also in Act One, there's another duel, Lawrence and Lee during ten duel commandments, so three duels in total. Very good. Thank you for those reminders. And uh, there was some discussion about the about uh, the various the, uh, the various theme clues dealing with uh, the sort of breaking news report about this ship being threatened by the waves. Some people pointed out that all of the uh, little news elements, the little news headlines, were water-related. Yes, I apologize if I didn't make it clear that I understood that, and I <laughs> know I ended up spending a lot of time commenting about the, the uh, imagining this as a genuine news report. Uh, yes, I did understand the theme. I just got sidetracked by my, my own preoccupations. And on that note, Adrian Chavez says, I work in broadcast media, and I only had two points about the theme clues. Breaking news is pretty overused with the bigger channels, so local channels will usually use happening now or developing now and save breaking for a very large story. If the intent is for these to be read live on air, they'd probably say, as you're seeing live rather than streaming live. Streaming live would be for the web version of the story, probably with a hyperlink attached to it. Obviously, they used what they did for the water theme, and I quite liked the puzzle. Uh, so there we have it. Thank you, Adrian, for your first-hand uh, your, your comments based on first-hand experience. All right, that is that for today's crossword, today's video. I'll be back tomorrow for the Friday puzzle. No code breaking, no theme, just solving. And uh, until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. <laughs>